Hi, welcome to our TST Volkswagen Audi Scan Tool Shootout. Good evening, my name is G. Trulia. We'd like to thank Hudson Valley Volkswagen for the use of this 2008 Volkswagen Passat with a 2. Jetta, Jetta excuse me, with a 2.5 liter engine, gasoline engine that is. And we'd also like to thank our sponsors. P10, Professional Tool and Equipment, so if you're looking for some good equipment, make sure you check out P10, www.pten.com, that's Professional Tool and Equipment. Uh, ProTech, this is something that, you know, these expensive scan tools we're using here, if you're a technician or even if you're a shop owner and you need to have extra insurance, let's say to have a base policy for $50,000, if something happens, to your tool, whether it be a scan tool, hand tools, toolbox, you could be covered with this policy. So you could check them out through our TST website, tstseminars.org. And UView, UView makes some great products from air conditioning equipment to fresh air stuff in your car to Motivac and many, many other products. You want to check them out. Now, we're not here suggestion, uh, suggesting what tool you should buy. We're simply going to give you the facts. What we found when we hooked up to this car, and we did a lot of work. We've been here uh, hours upon hours besides other days checking these tools out on these cars. So this is our finding. Here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover the factory scan tool. So we have here a VAS 5052. We're going to cover the factory scan tool, as I said, the 5052. We're going to go over the AutoLogic. We're going to go over the Ross Tech. We're going to go over the Launch. We're going to go over the OTC Pegasus. And we're going to go over Auto Ingenuity. Here's what we're comparing on, on this. The most important thing for you in the shop is to know number of modules that the scan tool connects to. Auto scan or health check. In other words, it going through and checking all the different modules that are on the car. ABS, automatic tranny, door modules, etc. Bi-directional control, meaning that you could make something go on, an actuator test. And by the way, on this car, there are no engine, right gentlemen? That's correct. No engine bi-directional test either with the factory scan tool or any other one. So sometimes people don't realize, oh, maybe the manufacturer didn't put it in. They didn't on this. It works on other modules, tranny, ABS, and so on, but not on engine. You ability to graph pins, ability to save info and screenshots, ability to print screenshots, ability to run uh, readiness monitors, and by the way, don't we wish every car had this ability? Because remember, if a monitor is ready, it's going to find a fault code. And the nice thing with Volkswagen, Audis, they allow you to do this by following the prompts on the scan tool, racing it up to a couple of thousand RPMs, holding the brake, and monitors can set right in your bay. Some of you guys may be familiar with it if you work on domestic cars. The GM Bay test for EVAP, that is only one monitor set, Nissan's and Infiniti also have some ability, like Volkswagen, to set monitors. Programming, a very, very important function of today's repairing of a vehicle because even if you have all the tools and ability, if something needs to be reprogrammed and you don't have that ability to do it, you're not going to fix this car. Uh, adaptations and relearns, another important thing, you put a module in a car, you got to kind of marry that ABS or airbag or whatever module to the rest of the vehicle. The, the number of modules that the factory scan tool saw was 19. The uh, auto scan health check, yes, it has that ability. It can do bi-directional control, though, as we said, this particular car does not have that capability in this engine computer. We were only going after the engine computer because, uh, quite frankly, it would have taken too long to go through every system in this car with every scan tool. Uh, the number of pits supported, in the, in the Volkswagen system, you have uh, value blocks which you can have 255 of, each one of which has four fields, 
though generally only three are used for any valuable data, and sometimes that information is repeated in sequential or different fields. So they may use RPM, for example, in a number of different value blocks for that for the relevant data. So we just said hundreds and hundreds. There, there's a lot of information there. Yes, quite a bit. Ability to graph PIDs, yes, through guided fault finding and only whatever, again, whatever VW specifically programmed for that. And, and let's say the ability here to graph was only through this guided fault. If there wasn't a fault, it you won't could do it. not graph it. You can't graph things that it, it doesn't think is faulty. Uh, the ability to save information in screenshots, no, it doesn't save the screenshots. It does have the ability to save the data for printing. You can print it. Uh, it, I mean, it has the ability to run readiness monitors, and that's a really, as Jerry said, a very great capability of the Volkswagen Audi system. It can program, um, and it can do adaptations and relearns. Okay, let's go on to AutoLogic. The AutoLogic is, does a number of AT modules consolidated, does an auto health check, bi-directional controls, yes, number of PID supported hundreds, ability to graph, it does not graph, it, although we should say it does graph with the uh, the, 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 the faults. Guide of fault finding, right. Guide of fault finding. Like the factory. Like the right, factory. Yeah. Ability to save info and screenshots, yes. Ability to print, yes, with a lot of ink. <laughs> it's a, but it's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Ability to run readiness monitors is yes. Programming is a yes. And adaptation or relearns is a yes. I use Rostec on a daily basis. Uh, it's a very, very fast tool. It's got a great capability of... Uh, my modules that can communicate with 19 in this case, same as uh, the factory. The auto scan is one of the best uh, features of it. You could auto scan, print it, and show your customer every fault that's in every module. It also highlights it in red when you do have a fault. Yeah. One of the best features of that tool. Uh, bi directional controls is uh, yes. The number of pin, pins is the same as the factory, and the auto logic, which is hundreds. Uh, the ability to graph bids, yes, very nice. Now nicely. that's a big plus big here. plus, because you can see a, a dropout in any kind of... And area. this graphs it on anything. On anything. So this is a little bit different than the past two tools. Um, the ability to save an info and screenshots is yes, you should actually log your, uh, your screenshots and uh, go back to it in the future, even hand that to your customer. Print to, ability to print is a yes. The ability to run monitors is, is very, very nice. In and, the bag. and using it, it's great. It, it actually guides you through them. Uh, programming notes, but the only thing it doesn't do. Adaptations and relearns, yes. It's a very, very, very valuable tool for its money. It's the best bang for a buck as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. One so, more thing about it, it also has free updates through the web. That's right. Okay, next one. R Rich, you want to take this one? Uh, all right. Uh, the uh, auto scan, all right. It, Definitely did it, but it was limited, all right? Bidirectional controls, yes on some, all right? Number of PIDs supported, that was questionable. <laughs> we, right. we had a few different issues there, we right. would all agree. Right. That a right. uh, little tough. Okay, the ability to graph the PIDs, yes. Very easy to do. Right. Yes. The ability to save information and screenshots, yes. Print the same. Yeah, yes. That's a nice job. All right. The ability to run the readiness monitors? No. Programming? No. All right. And again, adaptations and relearns? Questionable. Yeah. One minute it looked like it would do it, and the next minute it did not. And launched number of modules, another questionable one. There was a lot there, but it looks like they just took a universal approach and said they do all these modules. You have to go through each one separately. Auto scan and health check, it did do that. Bi-directional control, now remember, none of the tools did bi-directional control in engine, not even a factory. But there were some bi-directional controls in launch on other modules, but not all of them we were able to confirm. A tip here that I can see is if it comes up with the information 
of the module identification, meaning the VIN number or the module numbers on it. Hardware and software. The hardware numbers. software stuff, we were able to get it. Um, hundreds of PIDs. Ability to graph does a pretty nice job on that. Ability to save uh, info and screenshots, yes. Ability to print, yep. Ability to run the readiness, it did that. No programming and adaptations and relearn, yes. Not a bad tool all around, and again, the price is pretty reasonable. Auto Ingenuity, you want to take that one, Rich? All right, I'll take that one. All right, uh, Auto Ingenuity, the number of uh, modules uh, that it saw was uh, 14. All right, uh, Auto Scan, Health Check, yes. All right, Bi Directional Control, we had no uh, Bi Directional Control that we could figure out on that. On anything? Right. On any of the on modules anything. on that? No. All right, the number of PIDs supported was hundreds, right? The, the ability to graph the PIDs, definitely yes. Does a real nice Very job on that. Very good job on that. Ability to save the information in screenshots, yes. Print the same, yes. It did do the readiness monitors. Yeah, did a yeah, nice job. Definitely no, definitely no programming, all right? But it did do the adaptations and relearns. So our ability here, we're gonna give you some of our opinions now, you know, we gave you exactly on the slides, so if you want to do your own comparison, exactly what we found. Six different people worked on his cars. There's four of us, or five of us here, um, but six different people worked on the vehicles with the scan tools to come up with this information. I think as a synopsis, if you absolutely have to have factory, if you're a specialist, um, you need as close to factory capability as possible, and that means you either have to buy the factory tool or you have to buy the AutoLogic tool. They'll actually do custom programming for, uh, you know, modifications where you're taking a system out of one model and putting it in another, or one year and putting it in a so, year where it wasn't offered. If you're a general repair shop or you do several brands, you may have trouble, depending on the size of your shop, justifying the cost of those dedicated and expensive tools, and you may want to go for one of the PC tools, for example, the VAGCOM, an awful lot of shops, Eric does a lot of Volkswagens, he loves the VAGCOM, I think the launch, I think any of the PC-based tools actually, Auto Ingenuity, are powerful because they can update them over the web all the time. And, and if you're in general repair and you do everything, then it's much harder to justify those costs of those expensive tools. And that's why you would buy something like a Pegasus or a launch, uh, or you know, one of these tools that does a lot of brands because that makes it the better bang for the buck for a lot of brands. It doesn't right. do everything, but it does a lot of cars. OTC has not only Pathfinder, but they got a Denifix built right into that tool. We've done a webcast. You can check that out on YouTube. We did a uh, webcast with the Pegasus, and it has a lot of good info. The VACOM, bang for the buck, I would agree with Eric. It is the least expensive tool out of all of them. It's one of the like, fastest. For the big capability. Oh, yeah. the, one of the fastest. I mean, on BMW, Mercedes, um, it's shown the strongest aftermarket I've seen yeah. without going to the realm of the elite tools, yeah. you know. We have simulcast and webcast once a month, 10 months a year. You can check our website out at www.tstseminars.org. Again, uh, thanking our, our sponsors. And of course, my training center here, ATTS, without my training center, some of us would be rough. So uh, you can check this out if you're interested in hands-on training or any other type of training. Uh, please contact me. There's all the information, attstraining.com. So once again, thank you. And uh, we'd like to hear some of your comments. You can email us. Write them on YouTube. Write them on YouTube. Hopefully this information helps you. And from technicians, uh, all of us here are ASE uh, technicians, and, you know, we work on cars for real. Thank you, and have a good night. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night.